All right, guys, this morning we're going to do a quick overview here of some of the things that you have to convert if you're going to put a VVT motor or an NB2 motor into your NA8. So here we've got a 96 Miata. We're going to put this in there. So we're going to kind of just jump around and hit a couple of the key components here. And this is kind of the minimum that you have to do to get it to run. Um, obviously you can do more, but we're just gonna kind of hit the fundamentals here. So we've already swapped over the exhaust. So this is the exhaust manifold from the NA8. And over here we've got the exhaust manifold that came with the motor from the VVT. And really the only reason for doing this is that the flange is different on the bottom. Um, this one's a little hard to see, but you can see these are symmetric. It's like an equilateral triangle, and the NA bolts are a little bit different. Um, the spacing's a little bit different on the downpipe. So this isn't mandatory, but it will make it so you can use all the rest of the stock exhaust. Bolts right up. No, no real magic or special things to do there. Um, one of the other differences here is you see the, let's see down in there, the EGR fitting right there is in a different location. So we are going to use the EGR tube uh, from the NA8. All right, so coming up top, um, this is probably one of the, the trickiest things to convert is the coil packs. So on the NB2, it has the, the coils up here on the valve cover versus the NA8 that would have them on the back. So what we did is we used the harness from the NA8, and we'll get into some more details about how the injectors and things in there work. But we are gonna use the original harness from the NA8, and then we basically just spliced in the wires and the actual harness that came with this motor. Um, so I'll put a um, I'll put a description in the comments about which colors go to which, but it's basically all the same wires, and we just use this to get an extension on the length, because normally they would hook up down here, and the connector is different. So it's the length and the connector, but it is the same three wires, same functionality um, in both sets of coils. So that's pretty straightforward. And then... Uh, for the fuel rail here, we had to use an NB1, so a 99 or 2000 fuel rail. And again, I'm going to take the intake manifold off here in a moment and show what we did with that. Um, but one of the things that we had to do is grind a little bit of the manifold away there to clear the that fuel rail, because the NB2 fuel rail um, sits a little bit uh, lower in that position. Uh, but we are able to use the, the NB2 intake manifold. And then for the throttle body, this is the NB2 throttle body and the NA8 throttle body. Um, we are going to bolt this one on. So it is going to use the original NA8 throttle body. And the reason for that is the connections with the intake for the idle controller as well as um, the electrical connections are different. And so that will allow us to not have to modify the harness in any way. And it will bolt right up. The only difference, so it'll slide on the studs just like the other one. The only significant difference is it requires shorter bolts than the NB, just because of the thickness of the throttle body. You can kind of see that right there. So you'll use the, the stock bolts from the NA8 motor. So nothing too tricky there. And then you can see I've got the fuel line routed here. Um, so the fuel system is pretty different. Um, it's going to be a, a return style system versus the NB that's returnless. So we added a regulator that again came off the other motor. And then we just used... Um, just used a regular rubber line in place of what would be a quick connect on the NB. And right now I just have them looped 
So once we get it in the car, then I'll cut the two to length and round them how I want them to be. But getting to these fittings um, while it's in the car is pretty difficult. So that's my technique. Just leave them looped together and then we can get the lengths that we need to get over to, um, in the engine bay, you'll have the two hard lines over here for the feed and the return. And so that will end up being basically a factory routing for those, according to the NA8, uh, NA8 anyway. One other thing is we installed the, the cam angle sensor or the CAS from the NA8. And see this just plugs right in here. And what was in there on the NBs is just a cap. So it fits perfect. Um, everything is still there in the casting and the design. You just remove this cap and then it even does have the, the fitting there for the bolt hole. So you'll be able to set the timing and then put a bolt through there to lock it down. All right, I'm going to pull this intake manifold off and we can get a little closer look at what we did with the fuel rail. Um, also, all of this is going to go away. The, uh, these connectors here, this is the like fuel injector harness for the, for the NB2. We'll take off the intake manifold, take a look at what we've got under here. So this is one of the things where we just ground away a little bit of the intake manifold there. There's still plenty to hold the bolt on, uh, but that'll give us the clearance over here to where the rail kind of comes up there. So this is the fuel pressure regulator from the NA8. Um, it bolts right on. There was a fuel pressure damper here stock on the NB1 fuel rail. So again, this fuel rail is from an NB1. And the reason we're doing that is because of the orientation and the location of the damper allows us to convert it um, to have this regulator instead. And we're kind of mounting it upside down, which will give us the clearance to run this up. Um, it might be possible to do it the other way, but I don't think so. Um, I think this hose actually will get in the way of, of the intake manifold or the alternator. And then this end that we have connected here, this would have been a quick connect, but we've got a hose fitting on there. And we just had to bend that out a little bit. It was kind of pointed down in this direction and it was interfering with the intake manifold. So you just heat it a little bit, stick a screwdriver down it, you know, to kind of keep the end of it straight and then heat the corner of it back there. And then you can just kind of bend that out and sort of up a little bit. And we kind of had to play with it and test fit it a few times to make sure we had clearance to the timing cover and clearance to the intake manifold that comes in here. So there's room for it, but it's gotta be in just the right spot. Now the injector harness we're using from the NA8, uh, but we did end up using NB1 fuel injectors. So again, the rail and the injectors are both from an NB1. And what that allows us to do is run this off the stock ECU so you see this has the red injectors versus um, the sort of pinkish purple ones are the stock ones for the NB2. And the NB1 fuel injectors are actually um, within a couple cc's of being the exact same size as the NA8. Um, so when we run this on the stock ECU, the fuel maps and everything will be uh, very close. Yeah, so you can see otherwise, um, the NA8 injector harness basically all plugs in. Um, one section of it here was from the factory. This is kind of like zip tied on itself, uh, but there won't really be room for that within that manifold. So we just cut that zip tie and that allows us to stretch this out. So all that length was already there um, in the harness. And then we talked about the conversion up here to get to the, the coils. Um, and then back here, we've got this ground that we'll have to find a spot for, but that's not a big deal. And then these harnesses are gonna plug in to the chassis side. And then the temperature sensor, you do have to convert the temperature sensor to be the, the NA8. 
And that's, that's really what this all comes down to is that pretty much anything that has an electrical connector is going to come off of the NA8. So the temperature sensor, I'm gonna swap the NOx sensor over. This is the NB NOx sensor. So like I said, we're gonna get rid of this injector harness. Um, pretty much the only thing between the two engines that shares the same electrical connector and the same functionality is the injectors. So we don't have to do any conversion for the injectors, just run the NB1 injectors. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to show. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments and, uh, and I'll be sure to answer them. All right, guys, thanks for watching.